Welcome to my shocking shed. I thought I'd take people through the Ewe Link web application. You do need a second account to uh, to run your Ewe Link stuff on top of the home system. It won't allow you to do both at the same time. So in my case, I've used the Gmail, Google Mail differential so that you can they can use the same email address. But uh, Ewe Link doesn't recognise it. So if you've got one account. With Google Mail, one account with e Gmail, you can safely use the two. All your devices need to be shared between the two, and the Home Assistant app, um, application needs one of the accounts, and the phone and the web app can use the other. In this case, I've got my uh, each of my solar panels at the moment's got a uh, voltage and power monitoring so we can see what they're doing it's pretty grim out there so some of the panels are doing well some are still in shadow it's the end of the day um, and there's pretty much not much going on it's a little bit of battery charging going on here and switching on and off depending on the light levels and as you can see in the actual energy monitor there the battery in and out so three watts at times and the sun's just gone in looking out the window um, down to three watts charging and um, that'll flick on and off during the day or rather I think batteries one and two are charged and it's just a residual residual voltage so if the sun comes out or if it comes out again this this summer and it might not in this in this particular part of Europe um, those batteries will carry on charging new addition to the Sonoff family is a, um, a a power switch remote power switch uh, now connected to a tile rail it's a known resistive load it's a tile roll with 250 watt immersion coil inside that you can buy from uh, any popular hardware store. And rather than dumping the thermal into the thermal load in the uh, in the cellar, just to burn off electricity, I'm sending 250 watts of it into the tile rail after the batteries. And um, that seems to be doing pretty well. Not at the moment, but if, if I went upstairs now and put my hand on the tile rail in, in that bathroom, it would be nice and warm and the tiles would be getting uh, toasted off. It's quite useful when you've got a, a large family. The humidity switch in the cellar, that's, that's another thing altogether. The sun off, the sun off switches that you get and the sensors you get for humidity and temperature, they need calibration. No way is it 84% degree, uh, 84 humidity down there. It'd be raining for that sort of humidity and it's not that hot down there. So sun off, if you ever watch anything like this or if anyone's got the ear of sun off, Please tell them to give us a way of calibrating these sensors. They're not right. They're consistently wrong, which helps for when you're doing your figures on your home assistant. I think there might be a video on there on, on the, the switch itself. But I thought I'd show people this. Uh, this is what's going on with the Ewelink web, if people ever talk about it. You don't, you don't need this for home assistant, but it's something that I've picked up along the way. And I think I spent four or five euros on it. So any questions, drop me a line. Other than that, see you soon.